All right, so I made this part. You see how it looks, you know, very cool and amazing. I made this using UI gradients, okay? So if you want to know how to use UI gradients, then you've come to the right video because we're, we're talking about UI gradients, okay? So let's start off with actually showing you what a UI gradient is and where we would use it, okay? So you would make a screen GUI and then you would do have like a frame or a button or, you know, whatever. Anything that has like a white background, right? So frames have a white background. Um, I think, yeah, buttons have a white back background. So for this example, I'll just use a frame, okay? Like so. Um, and right now, as we can see, the frames is white, okay? So, you know, a very, very boring color. If we want to change the color of the frame, we can go to just the frame's properties and click on background color, and then, you know, change stuff over here. But that's not a gradient. The way we add a gradient is we click add, and then we click UI gradient, or type, I don't know, you type in UI gradient, um, and it gives us these properties. So first, we have the color of the UI gradient, we have and whether it's enabled or not, an offset, with an X uh, and a Y, rotation and transparency, okay? So I'll go over the color first. And the, the thing to note here is that you could change the color as usual, right? But to actually access the gradient version of the color, you click on these three dots, okay? Like so. And now you get these two arrows. So arrow one, arrow two. Arrow one will be the first color, like so. Arrow two will be the second color. So you click on arrow one, change the color, click on arrow two, change the color. If you want to add another arrow, you just click over here and then you have another arrow which has its own unique color. I don't know, like so, so, something like, like this, right? Um, to delete, you know, just click delete, easy. Um, and yeah, so there we go. We just made an amazing gradient. Offset just simply means like how offset it is. I mean, that, that's pretty obvious, but let, let, me, let me show you, right? Yeah, there we go. So offset basically like when it's on the positive, then the color shifts to the right, okay? When it's on the negative, the color shifts to the left, like so. So if it's negative one, then the first color will overtake the entire screen. If it's like negative uh, 0 0.5, then yeah, you know, we can see, we can still see a bit of the first color, but it's like more overtaken. Um, if it's at zero, then, you know, both colors are equal together. And then Y is kind of the same thing where, um, I think a Y I think only changes if you rotate the gradient. So if the gradient is rotated, that's when the Y changes. Yeah, so if I rotate it like so, and then I change the Y, yeah, there we go, okay. Yeah, we're like negative two, then it goes up. Okay, that makes sense. So that's kind of the idea of offset. It just pushes the colors towards a certain side. Rotation is fairly simple, just rotates the gradient. Um, transparency, also fairly simple. So you can you know change it like this, you know, so it's, it's the usual numbers, so zero is fully visible, one is fully invisible. However, it also has these three dots. And if you click on this, this screen shows up, which I know is confusing, but just, just bear with me, okay? It's the same system with the color gradient where uh, if you click somewhere, you can add a point, okay? And the higher the point, the less visible it is, right? So for example, if I wanted to be fully transparent in the middle, I would make a point in the middle and I would make it very high. And now it's transparent in the middle. If I wanted to make it semi-transparent, I would bring this lower. And the lower it is, it, like the more visible it is, right? Or I, I, can, I can move this around as well. So it doesn't have to be in the middle. It could be over here. And I believe this is also affected by rotation as well. And offset. So if I make it like this. And you also have these um, values here, right? So if you wanted to go fully down. Um, yeah, you could just change the value here. You could change the time. You could change the envelope as well. Which I'm not sure. I'm not sure what envelope is. I'll be honest, but, um, but yeah, that's kind of the idea here, right? And then to delete, you just click delete, like so. Um, and yeah, like I said, I do believe this changes. Yeah, yeah. So rotation does affect this, as does offset. So that's kind of the idea between grad uh, of gradients, right? Now that's not everything about gradients. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you three more things. Okay, the first thing is that the color of its parent actually affects the gradient. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the transparency back to zero just so we see the color fully. And right now the background color of the frame is white. When the color is fully white, then the gradient is fully visible. If we, if we change this color, it's gonna act like a tint, okay? So if I make this color darker than white, it's gonna be like a tint. So it's gonna overlay the gradient. So if it's black, then the color is gonna be black and there's no gradient. 
So this sort of acts like transparency in a way, right? Like when it's white, it's as if the background is fully invisible, okay? But the moment you start adding other colors, like they start affecting the gradient. So if you, if you don't want any colors to affect your gradients, make sure that it like, you know, whatever it's parented to is fully white. This applies to like if it's red or green or blue or whatever, right? So this, this all, all of this acts like a tint. So the further you get away from white, the more tint is applied, right? The closer you get to white, the less is applied. So again, like I said, if you want it to be fully visible, fully, fully okay, then just use white. The second thing is how to actually uh, script UI gradients, right? So how, how would we actually change a UI gradient via script? So let me show you something, right? I'll make a local script over here. I'll just make a variable for the gradients. So script.parent, like so. Um, and what happens if we want to change the color of the gradients? Okay, so I'll say, I'll say gradients dot color is equal to color three dot i don't know from rgb cyan why not what's going to happen is that the moment i run this game it's going to give me an error okay yeah unable to assign property color color sequence expected got color three so there so it's expecting something called a color sequence okay now the difference between color sequence and color three is that, for example, on something like a part, right? Parts use color three. And color three is just these three numbers, right? Uh, R, G, and B. Um, so it's just a flat color. But a color sequence is a color that, that has multiple colors, right? Which is how we get this gradient effect. And as you can see, it says color sequence here. Uh, so a color sequence is just a value that holds multiple colors. So if we wanted to change that, then we would say, okay, color sequence dot new and so then it needs um a color so now it needs a color three okay so color three you could use dot new you could use from rgb yeah and then i believe it also takes in another color i'm pretty sure but from rgb what am i doing uh let's see so yeah so i believe this would make it change both colors yeah there we go okay yeah yeah, so that's basically how it works, right? To change the color of a gradient, you make it a color sequence, and then you give it the first color and then the second color, right? Or if you want it to have more colors, I believe there's also something called a color sequence key point. That's if you want to, I think, access a specific key point of the gradient. And key point is just that, um, a key point is just these arrows, right? So if you want to find a specific arrow, uh, you use color sequence key point. But if you would just if you just want to add the key points, you just insert the colors in here. Okay, so you you it put the colors in and you separate them with a comma, and that's gonna make you your gradient. And very similar. Oh, let me stop it. Uh, very similar to transparency, right? So for example, uh, dot transparency. Uh, as you can see, it says it's a number sequence. So dot transparency. It's a number sequence, right? If I set transparency to be something like one. Yeah, unable to assign property, number sequence expected, got number. So in the similar way, um, number sequence is basically just a value that contains multiple numbers. Uh, number range or number? Yeah, number sequence. Number sequence, dot new. Yeah, and then it just needs the numbers, right? So as we did before, we can do zero, comma one, comma zero. That's it. And this is going to basically create... Um, yeah, yeah, basically that. So it starts off with one and then goes to zero, like so. Yeah, so as for scripting the gradient, that's effectively it. Again, just know that, you know, these are the values, color sequence and number sequence. Um, as for the actual part that I showed you in the beginning, how would we make something like that? And <laughs> again, very simple. We, we basically know everything there is to know about, you know, gradients. But all you would do is you would just add these surface GUIs, right? Which just may basically make the GUI appear on top of a part. We would add a frame, like so. Make the frame scaled, so it fits the entire like face of the part. So one, one on the size, that scales it. Add the uh, gradients. Make it, um, I don't know, what color did we have? Some, something like that, right? Like in the beginning. Yeah, there we go, okay. Yeah, so that's gonna be our color. And then what we do is we just take this, uh, we duplicate this, so that there are six of them, because there's six faces of a part. And so this face is going to be the back. 
this face is going to be the bottom. This face is going to is the the front. Yeah. This face is the for sure the right. This face is the left. This face is the top. There we go. Amazing part. Um, I guess select all of them. Click always on top, so it gives us the shiny look, and then make just make the part neon. Um, and then just modify the color until you get something that you like. So I, for me, it's for me it's this. Okay. So we just used UI gradients to not only create an amazing looking frame, but also this amazing, beautiful looking part. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that if I select all the UI gradients and actually change the transparency, I think, uh, I think that it's also going to be affected. Okay, no, I can't change the transparency because it's a number sequence and Roblox is a little stupid with some values. Like sometimes you, you, you can select all of them and then change the value, but sometimes you can't because it's a number sequence, not a number or whatever, right? So Rob Roblox has very dumb rules, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for gradients. Um, I teach a lot of GUI in my GUI course, so that's in the comments in the description, so you know, go check that out. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.